junk removal. Today's video is about junk removal. Except the kind I get paid for. What's up everybody, this is Corey Mission Side Hustle and as you know, I am on a mission to grow $500 to $1 million. Today, we're back in the junk game. That's right, you guys, we are back in the junk removal game because the money has been pretty dang good, I gotta say. You do the work, you get paid, you move on to the next one. Flipping takes a little while, you gotta make the sales. That said, this episode, not only do we do some junk removal, but we flip the furniture that comes out of those properties as well for a little extra money on top. So before we move on, make sure you guys, as always, leave a like on the video, leave me a comment if you wouldn't mind, subscribe, and hit the bell to be on this journey with me to $1 million. And as a reminder, the current channel net worth is 16,160. Let's go. Woo, what's up you guys? So I'm back at the property that we did a junk removal job in the backyard and the garage. We cleaned out the patio and then we cleaned out the garage. And I'm back today to handle the furniture. It's been a little while. Been really sick for a long time. <coughs> ah. I've had the black lung, I think. But now, I'm feeling much better. I'm on the tail end of it. Still not feeling 100%, but good enough to get out of here and get back to work. So my plan today is I'm here at the property and I'm gonna show you guys the furniture that we're working with. It's stuff that I'm gonna remove for him, get paid to remove it, and then on top of that, I'm going to sell them, but he's somebody to do a lot of business with and he knows that I make a lot of money when I sell stuff, so I went ahead and agreed to split the sales price too. So I am getting paid for the work and the removal, which is a must. Uh, but then I'm getting a little cherry on top by selling the stuff and then splitting that with him. So let me show you what we're working with. Green leather couches. Not the best. Desk and cabinet. I don't know, 50 bucks, 20 bucks. TV stand, eh, probably free. And then these, you guys know, I love this color couch. I showed you this last time I sold one of these. Then we got some of these camel color brown leather couches. Uh, little scratches on them, but I think I'll still be able to sell these again. A couple hundred bucks for sure. But I've got a problem. I have a lot of furniture on hand and I need to get rid of this stuff fast. I actually don't even think I have space to store this stuff. So this stuff honestly might sit in my trailer until I sell it. So I definitely need to price it to move. Now, as usual, I'm working on a pretty tight timeline today. It always seems to be that way. And you wanna know why? Because I'm a busy dude. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get it out. We're gonna get it in the trailer. And then we're gonna get on out of here because I have a meeting. I have to be on a meeting today for my phone uh, around lunchtime. So I need to get this stuff going quickly. So that means I gotta stop talking to you guys and get to work. <laughs> you guys ready to see me move this? Let's go. You guys remember the pool last time I was here? Much better. No alligators. I'm gonna go ahead and do. This is the nicest stuff in here, for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead, I got pictures, I'm gonna go ahead and measure them and post them now. Uh, Cause again, these things are gonna live in my truck for a little while <laughs> until I sell them. And I wanna move them quick. So let me post them right this second. Tough. Okay, Whew. feeling tired. So I've managed to get that couch in the trailer. I also got a desk in there, filing cabinet in there, and another filing cabinet in the truck bed. Inside, I still got this big pile of crap over there. I'm gonna sort through, pick out some stuff that maybe we can sell. But then I got into a huge roadblock with this green couch. Can't get it through by myself. I haven't tried these. I'll probably leave these here honestly until I can maybe have someone come 
Maybe I'll ask the guy that I'm doing the work for, since we're splitting the furniture, if he can help me just like get it out the doorway and I'll, I'll haul it off. Uh, but really, that's all we got. We got that thing, and I gotta check with him on this. I think he's keeping that. All in all, uh, pretty much done. Pretty much aside from that front pile. So let's go ahead and knock that out. I'm gonna go ahead and do my meeting from here. Log in. All right, guys, done with the meeting. I was a little sneaky and I kept loading stuff while I was on the meeting. I just mute, I just uh, turned my screen off so I could do it that way. But I've got everything inside the trailer and the truck bed, so all the rooms are cleared out now. The only thing that's left is that green couch. I just gotta come back when I, when I either with the guys here or something, just to get it through these doorways. It's too tough to do it on my own. So again, I'm charging $400 by the load, but what I'm gonna do, because I did not truly fill this thing up, um, I'm gonna grab this stuff and the green couch just on my own at some other point. But I did it, I got it all out. So let's go ahead, I've already got the stuff posted. I really wanna get the stuff sold right away. Also, oh, I forgot to mention this. I've already got the desk sold. So as I'm driving home today, I'm just gonna stop by this guy's house and drop off that desk for a hundred bucks. 75 for the desk, $25 for the delivery. So let's go ahead, wrap it up here, and be on our way. Yeah, I think these guys up here were trying to say hi to me a second ago. What's up, guys? Inside, huh? Woo! All right. Say hi to them. All right, what's up, guys? <laughs> we'll be watching the next episode. It's gonna be a minute, but it won't be up. Cool. All right, guys. Right on, we'll see y'all. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> man, it's amazing. I was driving down the street, and these guys start waving at me uh, on the highway, pulled his phone out and pointed at his phone, telling me that they watch the channel, which is a, which is really awesome. <laughs> But man, that's so funny that I saw them on the highway. So if you guys are watching right now, leave your name in the comments and who you guys are. Maybe I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, I needed gas. Uh, had a busy day today with that clean out. And you thought we were done? Mm -mm. Not a chance. As soon as we got home, all that furniture is still in my trailer in the back of my truck. And I'm telling you guys, as soon as I got home, I started getting messages for the stuff that I had listed for sale. In particular, it was that brown sofa set, the love seat, the lounge chair, the coffee table, the end table, and that little sun thing that was on the wall. But we got someone that wants to buy it tonight. So as soon as I put my kids to sleep here in a little bit, it's already in the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off to somebody. It's really heavy, it's hard to move. I barely got out of the house myself. So I am calling in one of my friends to help me out today and just go ahead and put it in this person's house. You guys might know him, he's, uh, he's Chris. He's my furniture intern, he helps me out sometimes. He brought his dog. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up bedtime with my kids and then we're gonna go ahead, hook up the trailer and make the delivery and get paid. Let's go. I just wanna say goodnight. I'm not going to bed. I know, but I'm gonna... Mommy's gonna come in here with you in a second, okay? Showtime. Let's keep going. All right guys, we just got done selling that stuff. We sold the couch, the love seat, the lounge chair, the two side tables, the coffee table, and that sun piece of artwork that was on the ceiling. I didn't even know, or on the side of the wall. I didn't even know it. She just messaged me and asked if I could throw that in as part of the deal. And I said, sure. <laughs> so anyway, we sold all that stuff for 550. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's 550 bucks for all that stuff delivered. I am splitting it with the guy that I'm flipping the property for. That said, I still got paid $400 for the load today. And then I split this, which is another 275. So 675 bucks today. Not a bad, not a bad day at all. Not mad about it. Uh, the only thing I am mad about is it's nine o'clock at night. So I'm gonna go and get out of here, go home, and I'll catch back up with you guys when we get some more stuff going on. Let's go. Sold 
that desk for 75. All right guys, so I just got home. Oof, I'm coaching soccer, pretty tired. And normally my day would be over, but that's not the case. Instead, I've got a pretty late junk job lined up that we're just about to go do, and it's like 7.30 right now. So here's the plan. I'm gonna hook up the truck to the trailer. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get it. Uh, since it's getting late, and I don't wanna be too loud in the neighborhood, we're gonna go ahead and just pull into the garage where all the stuff is laid out. And I'm gonna go ahead and close the garage door. And we're just gonna kinda do it from inside the garage tonight. That way we're not making noise in the neighborhood, even though it's getting kinda late. So I don't wanna waste a whole lot of time talking because I wanna get there before the sun goes down fully, get loaded, and go ahead and call it a day. It's been a long day. I'm ready to wrap it up. We gotta take care of this first. Let's get to it. We made it. So, take y'all inside so you can see the pile we're looking at here. So if you guys look through here, you can see a lot of the stuff is just kind of like blinds, wood boards, just a bunch of stuff that needs to get tossed away. If you look up in here, we've got some of these doors that are came off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean those up on the side as well. So I can use those kind of like artificial walls. So one thing too is it's getting a little bit late, so I don't wanna be too loud. What I'm probably gonna do is back the trailer in and just drop this garage door so that I can kind of muffle the noise and not disturb any of the neighbors around here. But I really do think I can knock this thing out pretty quick. So let's go ahead and back the trailer in, get this stuff loaded, get out of here, and get paid a little bit more cash. Let's go. Also, I'm about to make a huge fool of myself. I usually wear a mask when I do stuff like this because I don't want to breathe in all the dust. Uh, but I forgot one. So the only thing I have in my car right now is a sheet. So I fold it up nice and thick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it like this, okay? I'm just gonna do it like this. I know it's dumb, I know, but I gotta do it. My lungs are important to me and uh, I just gotta do it. So here we go. Woo, you guys, we are all Done. We've been here for just over an hour and a half. I took, I took some time to get this stuff in here. It was a, it was a pretty big load. Uh, I, I wish I would have recorded before I put the tarp on, but I put a bunch of doors on top and then ratcheted everything with the ratchet straps and then I put this mesh tarp on. So looking pretty good. But anyway, all around here, all around here, it's all strapped in, it's ready to go and I'm ready to call it a night. Well, my only regret for tonight is my GoPro died during this thing. I was doing a time lapse to film this thing up and it ran out of battery. Sorry for that. So this is kind of a quick load here. Didn't get a lot of video. That said, it was still a big one. I'm happy we're all done. I'm ready to wrap up this night, take this stuff to the dump here in the next couple days, and then catch back up to you guys. Oh, I got some more stuff going on. The junk removal keeps flowing, man. It just keeps on flowing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Now, when I saw you guys last time, I was feeling pretty beat doing that job at night. And now, it doesn't stop, because we gotta take this stuff to the dump. But before we can do that, I gotta show you guys a terrible surprise I just found. We have another screw in our tire, and this is from the same plug that we had before. And I guess this is why a lot of people that do junk removal, they don't just like replace their tires when they get a nail or a screw. They just plug it and patch it and keep on going because, um, man, I'd be going through tires like crazy at this, but that would've been my second tire, back to back. I mean, really not that long ago. So let's go ahead, plug it up, head to the dump, get the stuff unloaded, and make some money. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Ha! Ha ha ha! Look at this. Ha ha! It's a little one. It didn't even puncture. Well, that is a relief. Let's get it on. done here uh, make sure I had everything GoPro check phone check 
Phone, wallet, keys. Phone, wallet, keys. All right, guys, that took about 40 minutes to unload that thing from showing up here to me pulling out right now. So let's say 45 minutes when it's all completely done and then 15 minute drive. So hour to drop off, uh, probably about, I'd say that total job probably took about three and a half hours, including all the drive time and everything. So gonna be a pretty good one. I think, um, <coughs> I forget what the pay is on it, honestly. It's either three, 350 or 400, I'll put it up here so you guys can see. But either way, it's a pretty good one. I always like getting these jobs because that's a lot of money that, that allows us to do some stuff with. So um, yeah, I'm willing to put in the work. As long as I'm making a couple hundred bucks, like I'm definitely not gonna complain. That hurts though. Yeah, I, I broke my broom and then I was sweeping and then I stabbed myself on accident. So I only have myself to blame for that. Comes the territory, I guess. So anyway, let's go ahead and pay, get out of here. The last thing I have to do just to wrap up all these jobs is I gotta go ahead and get rid of those green couches, if you guys remember them, and that weight set. I have not been able to get anyone to buy the, the couches, so I just posted them for free. I've got some people that are gonna come, come grab them because um, the main thing is I need to get help getting them out of the house. So I'm gonna have to just have some people come get them for free because they're not sellable. I went all the way down to 50 bucks for that whole set and wasn't getting any bites. Uh, the weight set I'm gonna carry out myself and try and resell that though. So, oh, by the way guys, the dump fees on that, just got my receipt, 36.67, so $37. Let's go and get out of here. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The money talk. This episode we had a total expense of $244. That was $82 from gas, $30 from business insurance, $95 from the truck insurance, and $37 as a dump fee. However, we had sales of $1,163. That came from $400 from the first load that we did, selling and splitting those brown couches and that whole living room set. We made $275 on that one. Selling the desk, I made $38 on that after the split. I thought I had someone that was gonna buy it the same day, but they ended up bailing out. That happens sometimes. $400 for the second haul. And then I finally sold the helium tank that's been sitting in my backyard. I got that and we did that massive, big, big, big foreclosure clean out, but I sold that for 50 bucks. So when you take our revenue, subtract those expenses, add that profit to the initial channel net worth, we have a new channel net worth of $17,079. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.